Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my world with Nat Relocation Concierge. I'm back with Joanne. You know, we've been having some really great conversations this morning off camera, and one of the things we want to talk about is like this four, well, we're calling, we're calling it the five stages of moving to the DR, which include the four changes of change. And I think this is a really important piece because when I work with clients, I, I would kind of give them a heads up. The good, there's going to be good, there's going to be bad, and there's going to be ugly <laughs> in, in doing this. And there's going to be really great days and there's going to be days that you're going to crumble and cry and be mad and angry and, and have fear. And all of those feelings are merited. So let's walk through them. So oh. we have added the first one we are calling vacation, like mode. vacation mode. You arrive. Yeah. Remember that the DR is a uh, hot stuff right now. So most it of the is. people. Uh, people all over the world want to come here and enjoy the paradise, which is fun. I do as a Dominican, I love that. Yeah. And we have a say that you live while I work the place that I work. Yes. <laughs> you vacation where the place that I work. Yes. So, uh, and in, in my case, as Dominican, I have the privilege to have both. Like I live in. You enjoy paradise. both. Uh, yeah, I enjoy. Yeah, it. you do. Yeah. If, why? You are in the middle of the Caribbean. Why would you enjoy? It? Well, no, because I think that. Um, when I were, used to work abroad, mm -hmm. um, a lot of the Caribbean um, workers I worked with, I never felt like they really enjoyed. Like we worked on cruise ships, obviously, so our work was there. But when they got off, it was it wasn't. I never felt like they really were going out to enjoy mm -hmm. wherever we were. It was more of they had a mission, they had errands to run or things to do. It wasn't that. Sense. Yeah, the majority of people had that yeah. feeling. I, I, I wouldn't, I'm not going to uh, neglect that it happens to me several times, but you had to, uh, it's a, it's about time management. I but you appreciate I what appreciate you it. have. Yeah. Yeah. Do you swim? No. I no. Run. I run. You run. I used to. <laughs> I, I found out, and this is, I don't want to generalize. People, people assume because I'm very chubby, they no. say, oh no, but I hike. You I, hike. I, but, yeah. but a lot of the Caribbean people I work with did not swim. No. Dominican. They must all think we're crazy. Yeah. Splashing around in the water. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but there's plenty of experts coming uh, to the country and uh, the ones who are uh, tried to stay for a few weeks, uh, now they're deciding to take their own run and yeah. uh, stand and um, try to get so, rid of everything they have in Canada and the States or in Europe and say, hey, I want to relocate. I want to so take... They, so they're leaving... It, they're, they're leaving... Um, Vacation mode. Yeah, when they arrive, they see. Oh, I want to explore everything. Yeah. I want to enjoy. I want to always on beach every single time. Every day is a party. Yeah. And yeah, every day is a party in the DR. But then it has. To, <laughs> but then the party actually has to end, and that's where stage yeah. two um, is, which is shock. Mm -hmm. Like the shock of the reality of what's happening. We not not in every place in the country you have twenty four seven electricity, mm. um, internet access services and like water and all the stuff so yeah. when you're started getting started to live like a, in the long term in the country uh there are some things that you must understand that are happening yeah you try to fight with over over that kind of stuff i mean there are several good places and neighborhoods in the big cities or in the small ones that you can live uh, tranquilo noise no <laughs> noise in the country i mean you're uh, supposed to have a, a, you probably move in a neighborhood area like this one, for example, mm -hmm. and you're supposed to uh, uh, wake up in the morning with the birds sounding and all the stuff, and next up to you, there's a neighbor putting some bachata, and it's disturbing. It is. And so must, must adjusting mm -hmm. or, you know, that shock value, you have to adjust to what, what, what the reality of living here is like. Exactly. So... Um, so there are several stuff that the country has, okay, very particular compared to other countries in Latin America, and you need to understand and and accept, and obviously, and understand that that's the culture, and you need to sometimes respect that. You can negotiate and try to uh, keep things on your level, but there are some things that you uh, you can't fight uh, with that kind of stuff. Yeah. So then that brings us to the next stage, which is acceptance, right? So you've mm -hmm. gone through shock and maybe like resistance mm -hmm. about things. 
No, right? no, no. You're gonna resist. You're gonna be fighting every day. <laughs> you're gonna be fighting with uh, driving in the country. You're gonna be fighting with people and dealing with stuff. Like if you want to establish businesses in the country, you're gonna deal with certain stuff that you're used to be, have in the states or in Canada, but they don't work in that way here. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that I would love to say in the video We're so, <laughs> so so much and so broad that the, the country has on that but you're gonna be fighting in that and even myself as a Dominican had to fight with stuff around uh, and the country that I would love to change but in the case I already accepted that that's a personal yeah. side that who will go that in the final end of the video but at, at the end I, I accepted and say Hey, I can fight with this. I can fight sometimes with my neighbors that putting a lot of music. But if I can make a negotiation yeah. and try to establish a negotiation with my neighbor and say, please, can you turn out yeah. a little bit of music because I have my song and we're starting. I'm all working remotely. I need concentration. Yeah. The neighbor could understand and be assertive with you sometimes. You're, Absolutely. You're, you're, you're thinking. <laughs> you I am of, thinking. You have a lot of things. Oh, I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> because most of the places we've lived, um, it's, you know, there's people that are there that are on vacation mode all the time, and we were living. So, you know, you have to remember, they're only there for a short time, so you sort of accept that, okay, this is what it is. In two days, they're going to be gone anyways. Mm -hmm. So, now you've gone through the resistance. You've accepted the things that you cannot change, mm -hmm. really. And that leads us to the last... Um, no, we, we were vacation, shock, uh, shock. acceptance, and, and now commitment. Commitment. Yeah. Uh, if you're trying to move, whether it's a Dominican or any country in the world, you, make a, you have to make a, a commitment with yourself, I think. Mm. And commitment with all the things that surround you. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people who want to bring all his culture back to a new country. And that doesn't work. No, it does not. No, no, because when you you chose to or you're choosing to relocate, you're choosing whether your relocation is short or long term, it's because you want something different. Right. It's because you want something new. So yes, you can bring pieces of of your country with you, but you cannot um, bring your you you cannot bring it all with you. No, you can bring maple syrup. Yeah, or you can bring, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> those items that we cannot really get here. But you cannot bring the that sense of, well, this is how we do it in X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, uh, and Dominicans doesn't love that. No. Uh, with Dominicans expect that if you're living in the country, you understand the culture and respect yeah. them and be part of it. People love uh, the Americans try to learn the Spanish, Dominican Spanish. Que lo que? Tu si está bien. All that kind of stuff. There's a there's a guy in, in Instagram who is very famous. He's an American. Yeah. And he tries to like mimic a Dominican <laughs> saying. And he's kind of famous because he's all in the radio shows and all this stuff. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Uh, El Gringo Bacano. And he's like, he started like a, he started like a joking about how uh, people from every other countries started mimicking uh, the Dominican sayings and slangs and everything. Okay. And he came famous for that. But I love it. And Dominicans love that. When you adapt, and, and Haitians do, when you try to adapt to their culture, to our culture, and say, hey, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to understand you. I think that's appreciated. And it's it's yeah. appreciation. Yeah, wow. absolutely. I know that I wish my Spanish has would be better than it is after a year, but I feel like I just don't get to practice it that much. Mm. And, but the the idea is that when you can, you try. Right. I think that's the most important thing, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know where you are on the chart yet. If you've landed here and you've been here, you might uh, be in one of those parts of, of the, um, the steps of change. But I think I just want to wrap up by saying when you do arrive, give yourself grace. Give yourself the time to enjoy the culture and the food and the music and let yourself be in it because if you go too quickly from um, you know, living in your home country to trying to live here, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't work. You have to give yourself no. time 
to adapt. And again, uh, the DR is quite a, a popular right now because that is cheap compared to other parts of the world. Uh, buying a house, buying a condo is, is very uh, affordable and uh, trying to re get re relocated immediately uh, might be something uh, that you should, shouldn't consider. Like, uh, you have to take baby steps on that. Yeah. Try to, okay, I want to move to the VR. Maybe I can rent 30 days. Let me, yeah. let me take my Come time. Come and try it. Come and try it. Yes. And oh my gosh, it's so... We don't charge for that. You can <laughs> come and try whatever you want. Uh, we don't charge for that. And, and, yeah. and if you enjoy the culture first and try yeah. to explore, understand it, and then yeah. see all the things around the, what the, if you, the place you want to live, then you uh, yeah. are ready to take this step and move uh, yeah. to the country. Awesome. Thank you so much. And make sure you find some Dominican friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, whatever you choose to do, have an incredible day. It is Friday, the day that we're recording, so we're definitely enjoying this day, enjoy the weekend. Um, if you are thinking of relocating and this is something you would like help with, whether it be from back home all the way here or maybe just when you're arriving, um, I have packages to suit all budgets, book a call with me below in the calendar link and we'll have that conversation. Whatever you choose to do, have a great day. See you have soon. Have a good one. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, you too. Bye.